Hello and thank you for joining us. This is our devotional for Wednesday, October the 28th, and we're sure glad that you have clicked on our Devo. I invite you to also click over and watch a Bible class as we continue our study of 2 Peter. Join us on Sunday morning. We'll have a Bible class online, and at 1030, we meet in person for worship. That's also broadcast live online. You can join us either way. You know, this week is a, a big week if you're a kid. Maybe you've got a costume picked out. Maybe you know your favorite Halloween candy. Maybe your family chooses not to participate in Halloween, but, but you kind of enjoy the fall season. You can't avoid what the world is doing right now. And maybe you go trick-or-treating. Maybe you're too old. But, but whether you uh, like all that uh, scary stuff or, or not, you know, I, I've never been one to enjoy a haunted house. Uh, especially not those ones that will make a, a 6'4", 250-pound football player scream like a baby. But have you ever wondered if that stuff is real? I mean, I know not the haunted house and all that stuff, but, but the ghosts and the goblins and the specters and all of that kind of stuff. There's something in us that believes in an unseen world, that believes or wants to believe that there is uh, something that goes on beyond just this life. You think, man, I, I wish I could just have like a pair of glasses that would just let me see that spirit world. What if you could? What if that pair of glasses really exists? They aren't physical frames. They're spiritual ones, but they will help frame everything in our life. Ephesians chapter 6, starting in verse 10, Paul says, Finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his might. Put on the whole armor of God that you may be able to stand against the schemes of the devil. And listen to this, for we do not wrestle against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the cosmic powers over this present darkness, against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly places. Paul says this world is haunted, not by ghosts and goblins uh, of people past, but by spiritual forces of evil, by cosmic powers. We understand that to be what we call Satan and his demons. And while they are invisible to our physical eyes, they are very, very real. And there's a war going on. And it ought to be a little bit scary. There's a war for your soul. Satan haunts and hunts this world with only two purposes in mind. To deceive, to distract, and if possible, destroy Christians and to keep non-Christians from hearing the gospel. He wants to destroy Christians, to take their faith, to cause them to be lost. And for folks who are lost, he wants to make sure they never, ever hear the gospel. And if you put those glasses on that lets you see that spiritual side of things and you look around, sometimes the, the world does look a little haunted. Things that you thought were just coincidences, they go out the window now. And you realize there's an attack there. Around each corner is an opportunity to square off against the enemy. And suddenly, you know, when, when you decide, hey, I want to honor God with my finances. And, and I, I want to live right financially. You know what Satan does? He goes out and puts stuff on sale that you really want. So that you'll break your promises and break your commitment and, and keeps you bound tightly in debt. You say, you know what? I, I want to honor God with my time. I want to make sure we're going to take time for family devotional. We're going to take time for Bible reading. And Satan says, you know what? I'm going to keep you so busy with stuff. That's not a coincidence. That's an attack. That says, I want to make sure that you don't draw any closer to God. I mean, I understand that people go to a haunted house for the thrill. But this haunted world is, is thrilling too. Because there is a battle going on. And we get a chance to fight for the right side. We get a chance to, to lead someone to become a Christian, to share the gospel with them, to put on that full armor of God and go and do battle against those forces that are around us. We get a chance to move forward with our mission despite Satan's attempts to frighten us away. And the fun thing is there's no admission charge for this haunted house. All you have to do is look to see it. You know, I don't know whether you celebrate Halloween or choose not to. I, I hope you do that mindfully. Whatever choice you make, it's worth thinking about and considering. But during this time when the world thinks about life beyond this one, when the world talks about spirits and spiritual matters, it's a great time to have that discussion with other folks. And maybe you can talk with someone about their soul. Maybe as you look at your own life and you begin to think about life after death and beyond the grave and all the things that Halloween is associated with, and you begin to say, well, wait a minute, what about... What do I really believe about that? 
Maybe it's time for me to take action. Maybe you know that there's a battle going on and you say, I, I've been losing that battle. It's time I, I need to become a Christian. I need to repent of my sins, confess my faith in Jesus as the Son of God, and be baptized to have those sins washed away. Or maybe you're a Christian and you say, you know what, I, I've kind of forgotten about that battle and I, I need to get back into it. And, and I need to repent and be restored and renewed. Man, if we can help you, we'd love nothing more. If you'll reach out and let us know, we'll be happy to pray with you, study with you. If you'd like to be baptized, we'll be happy to set that up as well. I hope you have a, a great rest of your week. I hope as you look toward the weekend that you get a chance to enjoy this time, maybe get some extra candy this weekend. But I hope you'll think about your spiritual life. And if you need to make a change, don't wait. Let's pray as we close. Oh God, our Father, we are grateful. That as we look at this life and we become aware that there is more to this life than just the things we see, we are aware that you are there too. God, we thank you for the armor of God that you give us, for the protection that you offer. We thank you for the victory that we have in you. And God, I pray that you will help all of us to fight the good fight, to live a life of faith, to lead others to you. Guide us and go with us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. What a fellowship, what a joy divine, leaning on the everlasting arms. What a blessedness, what a peace is mine, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, I'm leaning on Jesus, on Jesus, leaning on Jesus, on Jesus, safe and secure from all our Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how sweet to walk in this pilgrim way. When we leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, how bright the path grows from day to day. When we leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, I'm leaning on Jesus. On Jesus. Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms. We lean on Jesus, on Jesus, on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms. What have I to dread? What have I to fear? When I'm leaning on the everlasting arms, I have blessed peace. Leaning on the everlasting arms, we on Jesus, on Jesus, on Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms. Oh, I'm leaning on Jesus, on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms. Oh, I'm leaning on Jesus, on Jesus. On Jesus, safe and secure from all alarms. On Jesus, on Jesus, on Jesus, leaning on the everlasting arms.